Hey everybody, I just thought I'd let you know about a really big announcement that was made this past Friday that could really take the world of audio development and really move it forward exponentially. So there's a DAW that's called Traction, and Traction was invented uh, a while back by Julian Storer. Julian Storer is, of course, the developer that created the Juice framework as well. And the story, the way that I understand it, is that Jules actually used, uh, he, he actually was building traction. And while he was building it, uh, he was actually building Juice. And then Juice just became this tool that he thought, well, here's a tool that people could use to start creating their own thing. So Juice was actually created on the way to creating traction, if that makes any sense. So this traction uh, DAW has kind of gone off its own way and now it's its own thing. It's still built in Juice and they're closely associated with each other. And so this big announcement is that uh, what if we had a DAW and we were to take the graphical user interface, the, the UI, and take that off of the top of it. And we had the underlying code that was underneath all of the stuff that makes up what a DAW is. And let's say hypothetically that we were able to take components of those, uh, such as uh, things like the timeline and the, the the effects that a u that that a daw uses such as reverbs and uh, time stretching and we were able to take individual components of those and just kind of bring them out and build our own uis with them and put them to our own use well that's precisely what uh what they've actually done so dave roland who is the lead developer for traction he made a big announcement on the juice forum uh on friday that basically what they've done is that they've taken the UI off the top of traction and they've made everything else available for developers to use and to bring in individual elements and create their own uh, things with the traction engine, which is really super awesome and really nice of them. So what I'll do is I'll just show you in this really brief tutorial uh, what the traction engine actually is how to download it, uh, just how to get started, just looking at the examples and just a, a, a few key things uh, that you need to get started. And looking within the traction, uh, juice, the traction engine juice module itself and just seeing a couple of the things that are inside of there. So first thing that we need to do is we can actually go and I'll show you this page quickly. So this is their formal announcement uh, on traction and they give an overview of what it is. There's a video that Dave has done where he explains what the traction engine actually is. Uh, there are some features here, so you can see some of the things that uh, you can do. So you have uh, things like tempo, time signature curves, uh, audio playback, audio editing, you have time stretching. There's loads of stuff. Uh, pretty much anything that you can think of that you would want to do with a DAW, uh, they've made available to you. Uh, down here, we have the prices. Uh, nicely, they've made the education and personal license free. Okay, so if you're earning un under 50K uh, a year, uh, then the, you can use a personal license and it's actually free. Now, if you're earning a load of money off of this, uh, then spare $35 a month uh, for their uh, um, for them helping you out. And then if you're making a real load of money, then you can contact them and uh get a and maybe pay a little bit more money so now what we can do is we can just go to the github page here and then if we scroll down a little bit we can see that there is the readme here so you want to read through all of this because uh it's, it's always important to read through the readme but what i'll do is i'll just co uh, copy this command line here just to clone the repo so i'll just copy that and then I'll just go into my terminal here. And then what I would advise to do if you're a beginner, I'll just walk you through this really quick, is uh, you, you would want to have a folder, like a development folder or a libraries folder where you would put this. So uh, if I just list out uh, the folders that I have here, and then I could just do uh, a CD, uh, change directory into development and then I'll do uh, CD into libraries which is where I keep 
all of my stuff. Then you would just paste this, hit enter, and then it will clone the repository into, into that folder. And then you'll have it. Okay, so I'm just going to erase this. And then I'll just, uh, I'll just open this folder. And then you can see here I have already downloaded this folder, which will be called Traction Engine. Now, if we double click in here, then we have a couple things here. We have tutorials. So tutorials is really nice because uh, what they've what Dave has nicely done is uh, just waiting for this to open. Is he's actually created a uh, a text file where he actually walks you through step by step exactly how to uh, how to create the example that they show you, and he walks you through all of these things. Very clear explanation, and uh, that's very nice of Dave to do for us here. So uh, so you have these here, these text files that show you how to get started, and then what we can do here is if we go into examples, then we have the header files, the, the pip, what they call the pip files for uh, those three examples. Then I have this projects folder here. If I double click and then I click in one of these, you'll see that we have a uh, producer file here where I could double click this, open up an example. So when you first download the, uh, the folder itself, this won't be, the examples won't be in, inside the folder. You've got to generate those. The way to do that is you just go into this folder that's called tests. You double click in here, go into your OS that you're on. I'm on Mac. And then you would just uh, double click on generate examples. Then that'll run a script for you where it actually generates the uh, examples and it puts them in this folder called examples and then projects. So I'm just going to open this this uh, producer uh, step sequencer here. So I'll just double click there and then I'll just uh, open it up in Xcode and we'll wait for this to open. So before we get started, so we have this header file that has, that has everything that we need to run the, to run the code. Before we do that, let's just jump into this, juice modules folder here. So we jump into juice modules here down at the bottom. We have a folder that's called traction engine and we could take a look at some of the things that uh, Dave and Jules have, uh, have given us here. So if we just take a look in, for example, inside plugins, we could take a look at some of the effects that they give us. And you can see that we have phaser, we got pitch shift, reverb, uh, you got sampler, equalizer, delay, compressor, chorus. So all this stuff is available for us to use. And then it's just a matter of us figuring out how to take it, bring it into a, bring it into our juice project and then build the UI. So you have to build your own UI for this stuff. So for example, if we take a look at low pass, like a low pass filter here, which is one of the uh, more simple examples, so you will see here that, for example, it's a switchable low pass, high pass filter here. So you would have probably a button that you would make that would switch between low pass and high pass, for example. So that's something that you have to create yourself. So let's go into the step sequencer demo here. And I'll show you here. If I just, uh, I'm just gonna do a search here for engine. And then you'll see here that, uh, and, and Dave goes over this in his instructions on the juice forum that you have to create an engine object. Okay. So this TE is just a uh, traction engine. So got to create a traction engine object. Then you have to create an edit object and that's how you get things started. And then from there, it's a, it's a matter of building up your structure, bringing in the audio or bringing in the MIDI and doing, um, and, and going through and creating your, your app or your plugin. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and build this really quick. And uh, so it's going to launch the demo. So this is a little step sequencer that they that they built really nicely. And I think that this is really fantastic for education as well, because what we'll be able to do is we'll look inside of these, look inside of these effects, see how they're actually built from scratch. Uh, and it'll give us a better idea about better uh, best practices to use when we're building our own our own apps. And uh, yeah, it's just a wealth of knowledge. It's pretty overwhelming, actually. So, so here we have this app that was built for an iPhone. 
So we can see there's a step sequencer here. We have buttons here where we can randomize the patterns. You can also click on these folders and you can load up different sounds. You can change the gain of it. You can randomize it. You can clear it. You can go into your settings uh, and choose a uh, choose different sound cards, so on and so forth. So that's essentially that's essentially what that is. Okay, and so so yeah, that's pretty much the end of this tutorial. I just really wanted to run you down through what it was, a little bit how to get started, and then in future tutorials, we're going to get into this a little bit more and show how to actually build some of these uh, objects. And uh, I just spoke with Dave Roland the other day, and he's going to come on the channel, talk a little bit more about what the traction engine actually is, maybe show us a few tricks of the trade in order to get started, and drop a little bit of... Uh, Drop, drop a little bit of knowledge on us, and uh, and hopefully we'll be able to get going. Okay, so uh, so that's it. That's it for this tutorial. I hope that you gained something out of it, and I will see you next time.